What's up? Whiskey Couillons. What's up? Whiskey Couillons. I don't know what review we on over here, but whatever Ooh. review we on, I mean, tonight we're doing Talisker Distillers Edition, so. Yes, good Some stuff. scotch. Oh, man, scotch time. So, Isle of Sky, so scotch whiskey, single malt. Um, so, they got Talisker 10. Um, I mean, they make a bunch of Taliskers, but uh, this is the Stills Edition, and it's uh, double matured in Amoroso cask wood. So, Amoroso sherry cask. Nice. Not quite as sweet as that uh, PX sherry cask, but it's good. Um, matter of fact, I, I kind of like it where it's not as sweet, but... This whiskey was distilled in 2009, and it was bottled in 2019. <laughs> so, 10-year whiskey, you know? Yeah. It's just, uh, I think it's a pretty much Talisker 10, but it's, you know, it's aged in this, uh, the sherry cast, so. And yeah, we got a new member of the, uh, the group tonight. And a new Couillon. <laughs> yeah, Gizmo. Gizmo Couillon. <laughs> he is a Couillon. Oh, come and hang out with us while we drink a little whiskey. Oh, hook me up with one of those. Pour out some Glen Cairns today. Woo! That's a pour. It's a hefty one. <laughs> it's like I wanted. To, I was gonna drink out the body. I wanted side, the body but, uh, side glass, but I mean, <laughs> that's you, man. <laughs> change my mind now. Change my mind a little bit. You wanna nose it? You wanna nose it? What's nope. that smell like? Huh? Don't be tongue my glass. <laughs> oh, Gizmo! Gizmo! Yeah. You breathe heavy. <laughs> oh, a little big. Diageo whiskey. Uh, I mean, Diageo owns a lot of uh, Scotch uh, distillers, you know. But um, yeah, the Talisker is good, man. It's um, it's got it's got the smoky uh, peated stuff, but it's a very lightly peated compared to a lot of Isla whiskeys. But it's um, it's on its own island. And to be honest with you, I don't know if there's another distillery on the Isle of Skye. But uh. <laughs> Definitely uh, Talisker. If you think of Isle of Sky, I mean that's that's the one that comes to mind. Is Talisker, right. so you become oh, distracted. I have, oh, bro, like, good boy. Ugh. You know, I I haven't had a ton of Talisker. I've probably tried three different ones, but I find maybe it's a uh, um, just the the place where it's made. I find all Talisker really briny, briny, super yeah, briny. briny, salt, the sea. Yeah, ah, so good. Though. They even come across on their freaking bo uh, box, man. Putting oh. oceans and shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, what was it? That. The Talisker Storm? Oh, yeah. And you could literally taste the salt what like, are you like doing? a raw oyster. Oh, yeah. yeah. Talisker <laughs> Storm was like very salty. Oh, this I love one you can taste it. I love there, it on the nose. It's yeah. so it's like strong on the nose almost. Like burn your nostrils. Briny. What you gonna eat my arm, bro? You and I know the proofing's not that high. It just, it, it's, oh, it's. You get the smoke <laughs> with it. Um, but you also get the sweetness of it. I get like raisins. Like a smoky raisin with some brininess to it. Yeah, I get the smoke and the brine. I don't, I don't know about raisin. Let me, uh, let me hit that again. What's the proof on this one? Uh, I'm going to say 90. 45.8. I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to say 91. Right under 92. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. 91.6. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you a spot fucking on, dude. Yeah, well, I'm good Damn. at stuff like that, you know. <laughs> Damn good. Don't bite. Oh, bro. It's like one of those whiskey you can just keep nosing this shit. I, I could. And it, I, that's the great thing about Scott, dude. dude. Like, I love the way it smells. Just the yeah, smoke I'm drinking and, it. and the brine and the, the sweetness underneath. It's like a under the underlying sweetness to it. It's, it's great. I'm still trying to get the raisin. I don't know if I get that, man. I get that in a lot of sherry flavors. Let's see. Ugh. You can fall. That's where I get a lot of sweetness. <laughs> Don't hit the camera. Dried fruits. Chunky. You know, that's not... I mean, it, you get it a little bit, but the brine is definitely more forward on the nose yeah. than, than the palate, for sure. I don't know. I didn't really know too much. Dude. I went straight into sipping it, but... Oh... My nose is so that just is good. I don't know, strong. I love it. Pungent. Strong in a good way. Oh yeah. Open definitely your sinuses. Definitely getting the sherry out of that. 
real sweet. So what's shirt. the? Uh, I don't know if you're you know, but what's the what's the difference between the? Um, you're talking about the oh, that the Oloroso and Gizmo's got your water. Uh, so Oloroso is a um, it's a it's a sherry whiskey, but it's not as sweet as like Pedro Zimenez or PX Sherry. Okay, that stuff is like candy, dude. So I've had a uh, Lagavulin Distillers edition, yeah. and it, it was overly sweet, way too sweet. Like I, I, I people love it, dude. I, I just don't care for it too much. And then Amoroso is a mixture of both the PX and the Oloroso, okay. from what I understand. It's uh, it's good. Like it's fun. To, it's like actually a mixture between the two, where it, it's it's got a lot of sweetness to it, but it holds back with some of that PX shirt. It's like over sweet to me. This mm. is perfect though. This is great, man. Um, I like this one. I get the, I get a little bit of the brine out of there. It definitely smells more, like I said earlier. But um, I get major sherry, a little bit of sweet notes. I don't know, maybe like a, a dry fruit or something. Um, I don't know. I do. I get the hint of the brine on the taste. Yeah. Get the smoke. A lot of uh, smoke. A lot of smoke. Um, Different though, not like a not like a Isla though. Yeah, not like an Isla smoke. For distillers edition yeah. too, like I like this one. A lot of distiller editions in the past was too sweet, kind of off, a little too sweet or something like that. Yeah, I like this one. Like the ten is great, and I, uh and this one storm's not my favorite. Uh, I might have to revisit that one. Oh, I had that storm once. I think you brought it here, man. Uh, I really liked it. I like the fact that it was that super unique again like you could the salt was very very forward on that yeah. I like that this one you only get a hint of salt on it but uh, you get more of sweetness I'm getting like like fruits like like I said yeah. raisins uh, plums dark fruits uh, with the smoke and with the brine just like a dark smoky fruit a little There's bit a of dark, a, dark fruit um I see raisins, grapes. Yeah. Uh, what, are you, what are you thinking? I'm trying to pin down like something. Like dark fruits, like raisins, plums. Plums. Uh, you could say grapes. I don't know. Yeah. I get the I get the sweet in it, but I, I don't know. I, I can't I, I can't pin it down yet, but it's certainly very good. You're standing on my foot. <laughs> That's what I get from a lot of sherry stuff. You get like the dark, like plums and um. And uh, raisins and like like a almost like a dried like dried grapes pretty much, um, dried white grapes. We call them sultanas. So clumsy. It's just pretty good. I don't get too much of the creosote, like creosine from you would get from like a isla, like they were almost like a road tar. You don't <laughs> get that from it. No. It, that's you know, it's like a, a different right. smoke. It, it, it's right. smoky, but it's different than an Isla smoke. smoke. Yeah. Right, right. Ugh. Isla stuff, smoke though. is all, you can almost. I get the hint of I know you can like taste Isla smoke, smoke but, almost, but I mean it's just very subtle. More like an Isla barley than a, uh, the you know the smoke. Right, right. Good stuff though. I think the smoke on the Isla is like just seriously, <laughs> it, it's super pungent. Like, yeah, it's, oh my it's god! There. Yeah, yeah. Hard bags. Whew. That's the best smoke ever. Mm. Kind of looking forward to cracking open that one I got this weekend. Coming to a whiskey review. Yeah, right. A little wee beastie coming up. Hey, we got beastie, yeah. I we got, got wee one. beastie. We got just regular regular Ardbeg tin and yeah. Ardbeg Corey Brecken. Corey Brecken. You got any Ugadel left? Oh, I finished that bottle. <laughs> I'm Uga fucking out of that <laughs> shit. Fucking Randy. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it was Uga good. Yeah. Now it's Uga gone. <laughs> yeah. Kyle's could probably ain't gonna be going to, uh, standing here too much more either. No. Motherfucker's about to go extinct. <laughs> Got a little log of nine left to go. <laughs> Look at that bottle, it's so endangered. Got a. Kind of. We got some Islas. I got that. That, uh. Brook Lottie. Isla Barley. Oh, yeah. Also have, uh. That Talus is good, though. Yes. I got the new okay. Offer Mint Edition Lagavulin 11 year with the Guinness cask. Oh, you got that Guinness cask? Yeah. Nice. I didn't open nice. it yet. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. I just Actually. got so much that's open. I've that been reading about that one a little bit, man. I'm kind of excited to try that, too. I yeah. get that, that creamy, you know. Lagavulin's always been a favorite of mine. 
Mm. Yeah. I love the last Offerman edition, so I picked this one up without ever looking at a review or what anybody said. I just, you know, I love Lagavulin. Got a feeling it ain't gonna be bad, dude. This stuff goes down super smooth, man. For uh, uh, yeah. For uh, and you know, I'm not a real big fan of. Of, like even when it comes to oysters things like salty i just not a real big fan of salt for some reason that these these palace for drinks man like that's 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 my salt right there you know <laughs> i'm gonna pour this on my uh, on my food <laughs> it, it, well, it's amazing it's that it, it don't have any it is. It is. salt in it but it has that saltiness to it yeah if that makes sense i like it a lot man i I wish I could pick down, pick out more stuff, but I just get the sweet, uh, like a dried fruit and I get a little like bit of a salty, a little, little bit of smoke. It's the briny that really stands out, but I mean, maybe a little honey on the front, honey, honey suckle, something like that. It's real uh, subtle. Yeah, almost like a little, um, like a cereal malt, multi grain. You get that. Uh, I was the thinking barley. exact same thing. Cereal, yeah. man, honeycombs. Yeah. Honeycombs. Hey, smoke. Honeycombs. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Especially on the empty glass, you definitely get the honeycomb smoke. Uh, yeah, it is some good stuff, man. I love it. Yep. So, you ready to dive into some uh, reflection? Yeah, or what? Man. A little cool your reflection. So, I, this this is one of my favorite bottles of uh, Scotch that I've had that I've bought anyway. Uh, it's a it's a solid three point seven five for me. Almost at, at a four, but. Um, I don't know, man. Like, uh, it's really good. I think it hits that perfect thing of, like, it's smoky, but it's not too smoky. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's right where it needs to be at. But, uh, I've had other ones that I, I love, but that's my favorite Talisker that I've had. I've had Talisker 10, and, um, I, had I could the, agree I had with the that. Storm, but this is my favorite Talisker. This is definitely, I would say, my favorite Talisker. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'd go 375. That's, 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 that's my, uh, that's my rating on it. I love it. I don't know when I, I hard to find though, man. Like really? uh, you can get them; they, they run for about a hundred bucks. So, for I like, the price. I like man. the um, I like this one a lot. But it, for me, in the in the world of Talisker, I like I like the fact that that Talisker Storm just you like given the given the too. history behind it, you know, and where it comes from, and how they they handle it and everything. I just I like the fact that you can literally taste the fact that it's been sitting yeah. in a storm you know what i mean like it's been sloshing around in, in, in salt water i like that a lot yeah, you don't get that taste from this one that much. It, it's no it's not as, as uh as heavy as it is on that other one and, and to me i like i like the stink you know different when it comes to to drinks and stuff like that i like to pick out that different note and i would give this maybe uh hmm, about a three two five you whereas you know i mean if it, if it had a little more of that briny yeah i would probably go a little higher i mean it's definitely distinct it's definitely different but it's also talisker you yeah. know and, yeah. and in the in the talisker world i don't find that it, it, it is a huge uh standout from all the others but what I mean, region Talisker's is this again great. that's the uh it's on its own island in scotland the isle of sky okay and I, at one time, I think it was the, the only distillery on the Isle of Skye, but I, I think somewhere along the lines, they, I think they came up with another distillery. I'm not sure the name of it. As far as stuff that I've researched, I think they have another distillery on that island now. Okay. I'm going to go three and a half, which is right smack dab in the middle of both of y'all. Yeah. So uh, we don't have to figure out too much math on this one. Three and a half. Three, three, but, uh... Five? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Three and a half mainly because I mean it's great, it's an enjoyable scotch. I uh, it's I was gonna say it's not my favorite region, but obviously it's its own kind of little region or whatever. Yeah, I, I think they like call it the island region, but the island region like there's so many islands. Like if you look at all the islands, I mean that could be any kind of whiskey. It's really not. Yeah, my, I don't think it's its own region, but my favorite scotches just in generally come from Isla. It's not because, you know, I, I just like Isla. It's just smoky stuff. All the ones that I've had, yeah. most of the ones come from Isla. And uh, that's just my flavor profile. And I like this one. It's very good. But, yeah, for a scotch, it's... 
I like Space Side too. Yeah. Easy sipping. It's probably my second favorite. This is good, man. Uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely, I recommend. Um, for one if you want to dive into, yeah. if you yeah. if you want to dive into something uh something a little different in the Scotch world, this is this is hitting on the same notes as uh some of the same notes as you would find in Isla, but it, it's definitely got some some things you won't find in an Isla. Yeah. And uh, kind of you know, it's it's a good a good introduction, you know. Uh, it's a good introduction to peat. Yeah. So if you want something peated, it's not over peated, right? It's not heavy on the peat, but if you like if you like something peated. That's a good note. It ain't. It's not heavy on the peat. It's not it's heavy on the peat. It's just enough to, to give it a little extra flavor. Yeah. Just enough to, to give it a little bit more nuance to it, a little bit more interesting, just to add a little peat to I it. I find it, it's a, it's a lot like, like that, that Brooklady Isla Barley, you yeah. know. Yeah. Maybe not, you know, the Isla Barley, it stands out as Isla Barley. You can definitely tell. And you, I think, and I don't know what they got in this, but they might have a little bit of that in there. And I think that's where you get that little bit of smoke taste from, because it's... I don't know, Isla Barley's just naturally got that, that taste to it. Yeah, but this is it's single malt, so it's, it's his own <laughs> thing, man. Whatever. But it, it, it's definitely good. Um, at Talisker, they, they do add a little bit of peat to it. They do peat their whiskey to, to where it's just just a little hint of it. Just something it's, to entice yeah. you. <laughs> I mean, it's not... Yeah, yeah the, them, them, them Islas, they tend to be... Uh, yeah. They tend to be... For the, for we're the not Pete slinging the Freud dick out there, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a little bit of Pete, but it's good, you know. <laughs> it's, it's super good, man. Yeah. This is hey, great, just, great introduction to to Scott. Talos uh, the Silas edition. He's not disappointing his old lady. He's got an average <laughs> Pete, it, you know. But he's not slinging the Freud dick out there. You know, hard dick, dick. It's pretty good though. It's good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I man, that's it. I mean, uh, I'd well, recommend it if you can find it. You know, absolutely, absolutely. I'll like it. All right, well. Whiskey Couillon's out. Yeah, man. To the next review, guys. Like See y'all next time. Yeah. Hit that like button. Look us up on YouTube, Facebook. Look, You'll find us. Hit that like button as many times as it's going to take me to click this thing to turn it off, which <laughs> One, is a lot. Two.